What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're back on the main account because we finally found something on the auction house. Yes, you might notice, let's actually do this by the Awakening tier. We have a third S tier hero now. We got an EOS for like 50,000, and even the copy is pretty solid. The most important part here is the fact that we have a very high attack roll here, which means we're feeding even more power to this Doom Turner Vulcan, literally at almost 108,000. Just absolutely insane. Um, so I was kind of thinking and wondering can we actually do Sea Land 40 now? Because we've been stuck for a bit. We invested a lot of power into this squad right here. And I almost feel like we now have the tools and the power to get it done, but really comes down to this Doom Turner Vulcan. I think we have to switch back because right now he's using a melodic strings, and even then, like <laughs> it's crazy how crazy strong these enemy squads are. Um let's see what we can do. Because the other thing to remember too is uh before I even forget, going into the soul gathering statue. Uh, we basically have both of them maxed out and you can see we actually can put more stats on the eos and then we're going to slowly invest more in the other tenant uh for vulcan so that should be interesting i just don't want to burn everything right now but we do need to switch some things around i do think although crown's still pretty good there maybe give him the fan and he's going to need some damage reduction for sure maybe even control immunity i don't know um and maybe give lord of sparkles back that melodic and then everybody else is just pure tank mode i really wish we had a sixth light hero now i really wish we did it is pretty insane that with even with all these like crazy buffs and everything we have right now we're still at the point where we're like um <laughs> we might not actually be able to beat this although this sh eh, this crowd control is annoying we're basically losing because we're getting cc'd so i think like legit what we have to do is on every one of these heroes run control immunity or at least on the vulcan just so vulcan get an active skill off if you can get a round two active skill off that would be absolutely huge if you can get it period that would be great but the, the issue is he's getting cc'd before he can even use a basic and now we're probably good for the next round Hopefully, that was a good bursty hit by our Yorm Tum, and we should get, uh, nope, nope, maybe, maybe. I mean, that's a lot of damage, but it still just doesn't seem like it's quite enough. My goodness, holy cow. I don't think there's a way we can run Balance Strike on him either. We really need Natalia to not get CC'd to give him a full shield. You get some CC off too. I mean, there's definitely a chance this can work. There definitely is. Um. Oh man, she's already got control immunity. Oh man. <laughs> One thing I did realize too. Oh, I just realized we don't even have our gear upgrades yet. There's more stats to be had here too. I just thought of that. Like all his tenants probably don't have the best gear yet. Got three star gear there. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, if we can get 39 done, I'd be happy. But it seems like this is a bit of a challenge. Maybe going for something just more offensive. Going for crit crit damage, maybe? Again, getting that basic off round one is pretty big. I'd love to get the basic off on Natalia, too. Because, again, if he's using that fan, that gives him a lot of damage reduction when he does have a shield. Maybe we need to go back to the other artifact and go for a huge round two hit. That actually could work. So if we go back to this guy, we get a ton of crit and crit damage, which does put us over the crit damage cap. We're already at 80% crit chance. Um, okay. We gotta, we gotta research some stuff now. So what are we getting in Transcendence Heroes? Crit damage, we got the 50%. Okay, that's fine. Warriors, I don't think we get anything to worry about here. Not Void Campaign. We need Sea Lance. So what are we getting? We're getting skill damage, armor break, speed damage reduction, holy damage, control immunity, attack, control precision, control, duh, 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 all damage dealt, block. Duh, duh. We get 33% crit damage. Man, so that's like, we are way over the cap. 
we're like at 200% crit damage and we're not even running crit damage here at all. It's mainly because our copy has crit damage, which is causing an issue. Uh, but okay. I mean, the, uh, the only other thing I could think, actually, there's one other thing we can maybe modify. We're not going to get 100% armor break necessarily. We could drop our crit chance. But I'd rather just guarantee our crit at this point. We need to take a little peek here. We need to see... Oh, and then I'm using... I shouldn't be running the dragon because he's giving us crit chance and crit damage. We should be using something that gives like holy damage or skill damage or something like that. Uh, which is most likely probably best at this point just to run the good old phoenix. Ah, oh, man. We're going to be really squishy now. But if we can get to a round two active, this is going to be huge. Oh, no, he got CC'd with the Petrify. No, I mean, there's going to be a lot more RNG on him getting his attack off because he doesn't have, like, any damage reduction at this point. And if he does get horrified in round one, I think that essentially counts him out because they do a sort of energy drain, too. So we need, we need this. Come on. We need to get this. Good, good. No, no, he got, oh, he got horrified right at the end there. But he does have an active. Is it going to be strong enough is the question. Not even close. He really needs to get that first basic attack off. And honestly, the more of our heroes that get attacks off in round one, the better. Um, this is just not going well. We'll buy a few more attempts. I'm hoping we can make some progression here, but it kind of seems like it's going to be a big old fat no. Ugh, man. <laughs> Natalia is just not getting any breaks here. Natalia is CC'd every single time. What if I put Yorm Tum in the front row? He does dodge quite a few attacks, which is kind of good. It only means one hero dies. But again, we need that one hero to not horrify our entire team, which is the Eos. And that's the big, like, downside here. It's like, it's like you have to put that hero in. Which really sucks. We need another Transcendent Slight hero because if if that hero is dying in round one, that's just a huge negative for us because that's what's giving us that horrify effect on our target. Um, I guess just going back to something like this is best. Man, we just keep getting CC'd over and over. Uh, we could try using Asmodel's core. As Vanilla Dauntless's core has some pretty good crowd uh, damage reduction built into it. Any target that has that little star over the head is basically dealing less damage to our team, which is solid. Oh, this would have been perfect, but he got crowd controlled. I don't think we've had a single time Natalia's got a basic attack off in round one, has she? Gosh, if only we could get her to get a basic off in round one, that would be so huge. That would be amazing. But yeah, she's just getting CC'd every time. All right, let's just find one attempt that we actually get the basic in round one followed into an active in round two. Because right now, this is kind of triggering me that it's not working. Uh, either that or maybe we have like a core that gives control immunity. Let's, let's check all of our cores one more time. So, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. does increase their control immunity a little bit. Increases holy damage. Uh, and the end of each round is what gives the all damage dealt or reduces the enemy all damage dealt. I guess this does give more control immunity to our team. But when does this happen? When the battle starts? I mean, we could try hers then because we might actually high roll some control immunity, which could be pretty big here. I mean, that was not bad. Oh, we got petrified right at the end there. My goodness. He's so squishy with this artifact, but I think it's like the best offensive one for him to run because I, I just, melodic strings, like I don't think it's going to do what we need it to. Really, he's the one that gets CC'd, but he does get a full shield now. It does seem like the fan was working better, right? The fan just seems like a better artifact for him in general, especially, oh, I, I got muscle memory of where I click. I don't know about you guys. Um... Man. Again, we're just going to see seed right out of the gate, which is so annoying. And it's all because that Eos is dying. I don't think putting Eos in the front row does anything different, right? I think she still dies. 
Yeah, there's really not much we can do about that. Um, there's no other hero we can put in except maybe like Natalie. I don't know if that changes this at all. I don't know if she's going to be like any tankier. Probably not. Well, I mean, she actually was a little bit tankier. We're burning through so many gems just trying to do these attempts. I, I just, I feel like if we get a good round two active off, we're, we're, it's GG. We got the win. And this could be it right here, right? Right? Maybe. Come on, don't petrify, don't petrify. No! This last dude of the top just keeps petrifying our Doom Turner Vulcan every single time. Put Asmodel back in the first slot here. Come on, we gotta get hit, but don't get petrified. Come on, let's see this damage. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So many hits. Not quite enough, but... Oh, that was actually kind of close. If he had the shield from Natalia round one, I think that would have gone the distance right there. But again, her getting horrified is like the worst part about this right here. I feel like we just need more golden crowns at this point. I wonder how Vulcan would do with a crown. Actually makes me wonder. Oh, Asmundel doesn't even have like the premium crown either because we get we had to stop building it halfway. Wait a minute, can we actually finish that now then? I don't know. Um <laughs> I don't know if we could keep going. Um we don't have secondary ones, I don't think, right now. Do we? Oh, my eyes are going to miss everything. I think the reason is because we needed to do this two more times and we didn't have and we still don't have the resources. Oh, my goodness. Yes, we do. Hold on. We, we got the resources. <laughs> I just never do this. Oh, my goodness. Sure, whatever. That's fine. We just need to get like a couple of these. There, that... Nope, that wasn't enough. Nope, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. Here we go. We just need a couple of these done real quick. We don't need to finish everything. 96. Oh, wait, no, I just need to claim my mail. That's right. That's all I need to do. I need to claim the mail, and then we can come back over here. Because maybe, maybe this is just what we're missing. We're missing more deific artifacts, and that could be what we need here. And then we can jump out of here. We can come back over to the Asmodel, remove that off you, or wait a minute, we could just make multiples. Nah, nah, we'll just, we'll just upgrade the one. Uh, go back to Ormus, go to two star, go back down to the crown. This actually let, might let him survive longer, which would be cool. Ah, shoot. <laughs> oh, there's always so many things we need to do. There's never enough of anything anywhere ever. Uh, so let's go back to the crown. Let's get that now that we have two more copies go over to the three star And let's try throwing this maybe on the doom term here Vulcan. I don't know if that's gonna really help See what his damage looks like because if you can use balance strike then maybe it's not a bad thing uh, We can just try running the fan on the Asmodel and said good lord that old muscle memory every single time Let's see what this looks like. So we got a splendid crown of the new Deific crown on the Vulcan. See what that does for us. I imagine that makes him a lot tankier. Yeah, he's he's getting horrified and stuff, but he's he's actually staying alive, so we might be able to run balance strike. If only Natalia wasn't CC'd, she could get another basic off. Yeah, that's the play right there, boys and girls. Holy cow. Well, well, well. Crown on Vulcan, kind of overpowered. And I don't know. I don't think we have more deific a bull chess. No, we don't. But that pretty much did it right there. That's, uh, yeah, pretty impressive. Crown... <laughs> Kind of overpowered, so. Uh, I feel like that's all attributed to, though, is the upgrade to our EOS. It lets the EOS survive longer in the battle as well and gives us more stats. So maybe what we need to do is we need to now take and get an S-tier Asmodel, take him out of a household, uh, and just pump a ton of stats into him and pump it right back into our Vulcan. So 
I guess that's what I'll do. I'm going to have to get probably a little bit more starry gems, but I think the idea is probably going to be going for an Asmodel. It's just they don't really pop up all that often, so it's going to be a little hard to find one unless someone sells it at a very cheap premium. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Uh, yeah, a lot more stats, a lot more power. We got our S tier EOS. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.